today we're going to talk all about RV water. Fun stuff. <laughs> because each of us have our own issues with the water that we get in RV parks okay. uh, and they're different. Mm -hmm. What's your biggest issue with the water we get? <laughs> My biggest issue is only because now we have stainless steel sinks. Yeah. My biggest issue is the hard water spot. Yeah, so we get the hard water yeah. spots on the kitchen sink because it is stainless steel mm -hmm. and the bathroom sink because it's stainless steel and then you also get the water spots on the clear shower doors. Yes, but not as bad, I don't think, because I'm very OCD about cleaning those after yeah. we shower and squeegeeing so they don't get the opportunity to stick. <laughs> yeah, we've tried several remedies. Uh, they're all short-term fixes, mm -hmm. but I think the long-term fix is going to have to be a water softener. Yes. So we went and got the on-the-go water softener. Yes. And this is one of the smaller ones. Yes. There is a larger one. It'll take up There's a, a ton of space large. and it's very heavy. So this is the smaller one. Um, according to the instructions, it's all ready to go. It's mm -hmm. charged because you have to charge these with salt every you know, 10 to 20 days, depending on how much water you're using. Yes. Uh, so we are going to get this thing set up along with the other solutions that we have. Yes, we're like nipping it all in the bud. Yeah. Putting so it into everything. <laughs> this is hopefully going to be the solution for the hard water. Yes. My biggest issue with the water <laughs> yeah. is the taste. Mm -hmm. We have a couple of solutions that are going to try to work together. Yes, because I'm tired of buying cases of bottled water. Yeah. We go through like almost two cases a week. <laughs> That's insane. I drink a lot of water. <laughs> we can't be stocking water like that. Yeah. So we'll show you what we're going to do about the taste of the water. Okay. We were at the show in Tampa. Mm -hmm. We ran into Art, who uh, runs the Clear 2.0, yeah. and he was kind enough to send us a couple of products to try mm -hmm. out to help us out with that taste issue that I was talking and about. And I'm really excited about this one. I like. He, we met with him and we saw his demo of everything. Yeah. I'm really excited about this one. So the big box that you see here, this is the Dirt Guard, and this is going to get out sediments like mm -hmm. um, dirt, sand, rust. Those are the bigger chunks of issues yes. that you have with drinking water um and this filter in here is recleanable and reusable mm -hmm. and i'm waiting back to hear from art on the life expectancy of this um but, i know he told us at the show but totally don't remember yeah so i emailed him waiting to hear back from him on that so this is the first stage and then the second stage is a filter that kind of looks like your little blue filter the chemical mm -hmm. filters that you would get at walmart or, or you know camping, camping world. world or whatever yeah. but this one is green and the difference between the blue and this clear 2o filter is inside the blue filters that carbon is um, just like sand it's uh, particles mm -hmm. so when your water runs in through the top it goes through all the that sand like um, carbon and it, that filters the water and it goes through those last up to about um, what three months I think was yes, recommended for the for those blue filters the problem with those blue filters is because it's granules and it's not a solid carbon block mm -hmm. what will happen is after a few uses that water follows the path of least resistance so what will happen is that water will cut a trail through those granules mm -hmm. and then it's then your water's not actually running through all that carbon so it's not actually filtering very well at all. It's actually just cutting through that trail that's already cut through. You're catching a little bit of that carbon filtration on the sides of the water flow, yeah. but it's not really doing its job to the greatest. To its full capacity. Yeah, even yeah. after a couple of uses. And you can try to shake those up, but once that those granules get wet, they kind of clump down in the bottom and kind of get stuck. The Clear 2.0 is yeah. one piece of solid carbon. Mm -hmm. So it uh, the water goes in there and it seeps out through the solid carbon yes. piece and then flows into your RV. The biggest concern that I have about this, which I'm really curious to hear about mm -hmm. or, or see, is um, water pressure. Yeah. So because it has to go and seep through this solid carbon filter, I'm curious to see if that will decrease our water pressure or not. Yes. I have no doubts about it uh, improving the taste and the quality of our water. Yeah. Just I, hope I we don't lose any pressure. Yeah. Now we're attacking this water on three different fronts. We've already talked about <laughs> yeah. two. And the third one is one that you said you would never even entertain the idea. No, I vowed, I swore up and down, <laughs> I was never going to partake in this. I, I was like, 
It ain't happening. She not was doing digging it. Her heels in. I will not purchase this whatsoever. I'm not doing it. Every bone in my body said, "Don't do it." Lies. Guys, I did it. <laughs> I did it. Go oh, the Berkey. We broke we down. Broke down Bob Berkey. It was really a, a combination of uh, trying to get better water and peer pressure. <laughs> a lot of peer pressure. <laughs> I know it's going to be phenomenal because everybody says it's phenomenal. Yeah. But I just could not spend the money on a Berkey. Now, this video is going to be in two parts because right now we're going to show you how to set all this stuff up and get it going. Um, but we want to get a good feel for it. Yes. So we're going to wait for a couple of weeks after mm -hmm. we do this all set up. And then we're going to let you know how it's working and if we recommend any or all of these products. Yes. So we'll leave uh, a link to all of these products in the description of this video, mm -hmm. but don't click on them and buy them just yet because we are not recommending them just yet. We'll have to <laughs> wait for the couple of weeks and we'll see if we recommend them after That's that. That's right. Now you can see we have the standard blue filter on that I was talking about with the granules. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn this water off. We're going to uninstall the blue filter and we will reinstall the clear 2 green filters. Hey, you want to make sure that you keep your water pressure regulator on there. None of these filters do any pressure regulation and you want to make sure you don't blow the lines out of your RV. So make sure you keep your uh, water pressure regulator on. They give you this little piece, which is the first piece that goes on to the filter system. So we'll put that on and that just lets it, lets the hose basically flex in whatever direction the RV is parked so it doesn't get kinked up and restrict the uh, water flow. All right, the next part that's going on, this is the big one that we talked about. Filters out all the big stuff, the sand and the dirt and the rust and all that stuff. But I wanted to open this up and show it to you because inside of here is this white filter. And the water flows through there and basically filters out all that big stuff. Now this is reusable and cleanable. When you reuse it and clean it, it will uh, start to take on a little bit of a color. And that's just because of all the sediments that are in there. But you can wash this. And when we go come back and talk about uh, the two week review of how everything's working, uh, we'll give you an answer on the life expectancy of this filter. Now the next step is the, uh, the carbon filter. And I just wanted to, to make a note that you can use this without this. You don't have to purchase both. If you just have a concern about smaller sediments, then you can just use this hook straight up to here. Or um, if you don't want to use the clear TO, this filter can be used with the blue filters also. So you can mix and match or leave one piece out and include another however you like. But we're going to use both of these from clear TO to see how they work in conjunction with each other. So the next step is to install this filter up inside the large sediment filter. Now, once we got this on here, uh, we're just going to turn the water on and we're going to let some of that uh, initial sediment get filtered through here because we don't want to blast all this brand new carbon that's in these filters straight into our water system. So we're going to let this run for about a minute or two and then we'll hook up the softening system. Now we're going to set up our water softening system, our on the go system. Now on both sides of there, these are labeled in and out. So you want the water coming in this side and out this side to your RV. They include this convenient little piece of hose that I'm going to use to hook from my clear 2 system to the end portion of the water softening system. Now straight out of the box, this on the go system comes already charged. It already has the salt in here, everything it needs in here. Now in a couple weeks when we come back and we start talking about how good this works or doesn't, um, we will show you the process of recharging this. Um, the next step, we have this little hose already hooked to the, from the clear 2 to the water softening system. And now the only thing left to do is to run this for about two to three minutes to let everything circulate and, and flush itself out on the initial one. And then we'll hook it straight up to our RV water. Well, we've hooked everything up. We let this run for about three minutes and uh, saturated the whole uh, ground here. <laughs> but the only step left to do now is to hook it up and let it start running into the RV. So we're going to do that. All right, now we're gonna kick our water back on and what I'm really looking for is um, any leaks or drips or anything like that because if you have any leaks or drips, it will decrease your water pressure. So what I like to do is, um, and to not waste water, is if I have a leak or a drip anywhere, I will go back, I'll unconnect that, I'll put just a little bit of plumber's tape on there and connect it back and that usually resolves the problem pretty, pretty easily. But it looks like right now we have no leaks, no drips, so everything should be good. So we'll go inside and check our water pressure because that's one of the things I was really concerned about. Okay, moment of truth. Uh, one of the things I was really concerned about was the water pressure, so we're going to turn this on and see what it was. Unfortunately, I forgot to uh, to film what it looked like before uh, with the other filter on, but I know what the pressure looks like, so I'll be able to tell. What do you think? Nothing? Yep. Looks good. Sweet. 
All right, now the third level of attack is the Berkey. And the most complicated part about putting the Berkey together is priming the filters. They give you this little rubber stopper, uh, which you put at the top of the threads of the filter. And you're gonna make sure that you have your water setting on cold. Any Running any hot water through these carbon filters can damage them and um, make them not last as long. So you wanna make sure your water's on cold. This rubber stopper is gonna go up against the bottom of your faucet. And I'm gonna turn this on at a very low pressure. And after a few seconds, you're gonna see some, some beading on the outside of this filter. And once that starts beading, you wanna let it bead for about five seconds or so. And then all of that water inside has been pushed out. And now your filter is primed. You'll see some water running down here just because you can't get a perfect seal. But what you're really gonna pay attention for is the beading of the water on the side of this filter. You can see it's starting to bead as it's filling up. That beading on the side of the, the filter right there. And once it moves all the way down to the bottom part right there and the beading has started at the bottom, you're gonna let it continue to bead for about five seconds. Now you can cut your water off. You can remove your little rubber stopper and then you can install your filter into your Berkey. Now there are two filters. I only showed you one because there's no need to really show you doing both of those, but there's two filters. Once you get them both primed, they insert through here and just two little uh, plastic bolts that bolt them onto the bottom. And then you just place that right inside of your Berkey and you're ready to fill it up and start filtering some water. Now even when you're filling this thing up, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you fill it up with cold water. Mm -hmm. Can't stress that enough. Hot water will damage these filters and decrease their life expectancy. Yes. Well, it's all hooked up. It's ready to go. go. Yeah. Clear 2 -O, on the go, Berkey. Done. Pow, pow, <laughs> pow, the triple, yeah. triple threat. <laughs> We do want to mention that um, the on-the-go system and the Berkey we purchased ourselves, mm -hmm. but Art over at clear to was gracious enough to send us the clear to yeah. products so that we could try those. Mm -hmm. And um, we will be back in a couple of weeks yes. to let you know how it all is all working and Just if we recommend these products <laughs> for you. Yeah. For you, it'll only be a few seconds. For us, it'll be a couple weeks. Yeah. Well, I got an answer back from the clear to o folks and they informed me that this this uh, filter for the top that filters out all those big particles is good for six months. So I wanted to make sure that I told you that. So six months on this, six months on this. Uh, so what you can do is just have a couple of those standing by and you know, either have it on your calendar or you can take a Sharpie right on the side of here when it's due and, uh, and just switch it out every six months, which is six, about three months longer than the, than the blue filter system. And uh, so it is a little more expensive to go with the Clear 2.0, but you don't have to change it out as often. It's been about three weeks since we hooked all of our water things up and now uh, before we talk about whether we like it dislike it recommend it whatever um, I told you that I would show you how to recharge one of these uh, on-the-go water softener systems so that's what we're gonna do now and so first thing I got to do is I got to turn off the water now when I first hooked this up I had this tank hooked up out there and it just had this little hose from the clear to go into here and then the big hose to here but i flip-flopped it that way i could put this canister underneath the rv so now i have the big hose here and then the little little hose going from here into my into my trailer so now what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect the uh the out portion the next thing we want to do is we want to take this cap off We have the standard model. So the standard model only requires one canister of salt. It can be uh, iodized or not, it doesn't really matter. Um, so it'll take one full thing. If you have the double standard, which is about twice the size of this, it takes two of these, uh, but it lasts twice as long. This one lasts about three weeks. They say uh, 14 to 20 days before you change these out. So uh, tomorrow will be three weeks, so we're right on the money. Um, sometimes it'll last a little longer. Just use your test strips if you want to. We'll probably just, do ours at once every three weeks whether it needs it or not just so we don't have to get out of a routine i'm gonna pour this whole thing in here the next part sounded pretty crazy to me when i learned how to do it but i guess it's it's the way because that's what the manual says i'm going to turn on the water but just a little bit just enough of a stream to where the stream's going to come out and just clear the canister so not much pressure about the the, the thickness of the water stream needs about to be about the thickness of a pencil and they're going to run that for 12 to 15 minutes now keep in mind, uh, this is the standard model. 
So the 12 to 15 minutes is just for this model. If you have the double standard model, which is twice as big, or if you have the camp model, which is like ginormous, um, those times are gonna vary. So just make sure you consult your owner's manual to make sure that you're filtering this out for the appropriate amount of time. Well, it's been uh, dribbling here for about 14 minutes. And so that's the 12 to 15 minute ratio for me. So now I have to turn it on full blast, leave this open and let it go for another three to four minutes. All right, it's been going full steam for about four minutes now. And the uh, one of the ways that you can tell to see if it's, it's good to go is if this water is salty. Nope, not salty. Another way is uh, you can use your test strips, but uh, as long as the water's not salty, then uh, it should be good to go. So I'll turn this off and hook it back up. That's it, hook back up, water back on, going back into the coach. Now let's talk about whether we like it or not. Well, it's been three weeks since we hit the water with the old one, two, three punch. <laughs> yeah. The uh, clear to go, the on the go, and the mm -hmm. Berkey. So we'll talk about them in order. Okay. Uh, from, from the order in which they are attached to the spigot making their way into the trailer. All right. So first we'll start with the clear to go, the green water filters that replace the blue water filters. What are your thoughts on that? Well, water filter is hard for me because, I, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, and it's kind of because we hit it all at the same time. Yeah, we you did. You can't really tell that difference between it. Uh, the biggest thing I was concerned about was water pressure. Yes. And, you know, just, just by looking and researching, I think that the, the solid core is probably better, better yeah. than the granules. Um, so I think, yeah, I think we'll stick with it. Yes, I think we will too. It's not that much more expensive and it lasts twice as long. Yeah. So for that reason, I think it's going to be a good option yeah. for us. And because our water tastes so good right now, I don't want to take anything away or change anything. Yes. So everything that we're talking about here, we'll put a link in the description so you can go get them if you want them. Moving up to the on-the-go water softening system, mm -hmm. I have a feeling this is going to be your favorite. Yes, it is. Yeah. It has been a lifesaver for me. The spots are like virtually gone. Yeah. So the spots we're talking about, we talked about them earlier. We have the stainless steel sinks. Yes. In the bathroom, in the kitchen. And the perfectly clear glass shower doors. Yeah, so hard water stains everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, not as bad right now because we've only been in the rig for like four or five months. Yeah. But, I mean, they start right away. Yeah. You can tell. I think if, if we had waited on this system for a year or two, I think it would have put stains on there that we might not have ever been Everyone able to get, get rid off. of. So yeah. I think it's good that we attack this early with the yes. on-the-go system. So definitely worth it there. Absolutely worth it. Um, it's really that one-time major investment and after yeah. that it's just salt. Yes. So it's not super expensive to maintain. No. It's just a little bit of maintenance, you know, 10 to 15 minutes, yes. once every three weeks. No big deal. No, not a big deal. Glad we did it. Yeah. All right. Berkey, <laughs> what do you think? I'm very glad we did it. Awesome. Yeah, you're loving it. Yeah, it's great. It's easy. Um, it just goes in the sink on travel day. It hangs over the sink here. It's not mm -hmm. in the way of anything. No. It's not an eyesore. No. Uh, and they actually made it look, you know. And we have the traveler size. Yes, yeah, so it's not they huge. They have even two or three more sizes bigger. So yeah. traveler is perfect for us. So overall, we recommend all three of these mm -hmm. products. Like I said, uh, link in the description for all three of those. Uh, I don't necessarily think you need to buy all of them, but uh, we did anyway. Yeah. Uh, just to be sure, buy all three and you'll be good to go. That's right. Game changer for us. Yes. Um, we've been, you know, two years without anything. Yeah. Well, just the blue filter. Yeah, just the it. blue filter. Um, and I wouldn't drink the water out of the out of the. No, sink that's from where there. all our bottled water buying came yeah. from. Yeah. So now I feel comfortable. Yeah. Because I'm very finicky on water taste. Oh my god. <laughs> If I if if it tastes a little off, see, he goes he goes. No. Oh, that's not good. And he dumps <laughs> it out. He swear it's so painful. <laughs> so now we're fixed. But those are gone. Yeah. yeah. Like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're gonna honor a fallen hero. Mm -hmm. If you wanna get involved with helping guys help veterans out on the road, everything you need to know is down in the description of this video. We appreciate you watching. We hope your water mm -hmm. tastes better in the future, <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Bye.